Now, do you know the words to the national anthem? Do you know all of them? Or is it something <clears> you <throat> simply don't care about unless it's being sung just the first verse at national sports events? Well, there are calls now for it to be become part of the English national curriculum in a bid to encourage young people to feel a sense of national identity. We're joined by Tory MP Andrew Rosendale, who's calling for the national anthem to be taught in schools, and Ash Sarke is from the left-wing leaning left-wing leaning website Novara Media who's branded the idea dangerous. Why is it dangerous? I didn't brand the idea dangerous. Well, it says it on the autocue, so it must be true. I'm sorry <laughs> I didn't say that. Um, put, it, put it right for us. What, what, what do you think the consequences of uh, teaching children the national anthem, th anthem and singing it in schools what would be the consequences of that? For me, the issue here is that it betrays an absolutely topsy-turvy set of priorities from Andrew Rossendale. Havering, where Romford is, has got the second worst performance of schools in London, and I think that is a cause for real concern. Schools need funding, teachers and parents need support. Mm -hmm. We're seeing a 2.8% decrease in real terms per pupil funding okay, by 2022. So you've got a bigger issue with funding for schools. I think that's the real issue. Mm -hmm. Okay, but, but bearing in mind there are many, many, many issues, uh, what about the national anthem specifically? Do you have an issue with that, never mind all the other issues that affect education? I think that if this is part of the Conservative rebrand to attract the young, um, it's deeply, deeply embarrassing. People don't want... Why a is it embarrassing to sing the national anthem? I'm saying that imposing the national anthem top-down in educational spaces is embarrassing. Right. I've got no, no problem. Explain to me why it's embarrassing to sing our national anthem. I didn't say that. I said that, I said that as a policy suggestion is oh. deeply embarrassing but in America, from the Conservative Party. In America, party. every school child learns how to sing it. In France, Emmanuel Macron is, is, is a big... Uh, a move now to bring in uh, the, the kids singing it in schools. Why should British children in British schools not be encouraged to sing the British national anthem? And in America, we've seen a wave of protests at the national anthem. Colin Kaepernick, for instance, taking a knee. Because it's got nothing to do can... with singing the national anthem. I think that it does. No, no what you're doing very skillfully, if I may say so, <clears throat> is you're completely whataboutery on this. This you're is saying, not whataboutery. You're, saying you, you're refusing to talk about the anthem itself. In America, Colin Kaepernick, who is a black uh, football player, he made a protest <clears throat> about <clears throat> institutional racism in America during what, the playing of the anthem. And my he point has is, never, he has and never, my no, point wait, is, let is this. Let me finish. My point he, let me is finish. This, that you he cannot has never, impose he has never, a sense of national identity excuse me, from excuse the top me. down. You can't make false claims. Colin Kaepernick... I didn't make a false claim. Colin Kaepernick is. has never made any suggestion it's wrong to sing the national anthem. Right? So I come back to my question. What is wrong or embarrassing about singing the national anthem in our schools? I said as a policy proposal, it's deeply Why? embarrassing. Why is it embarrassing? The truth is that British values are taught in schools. Our history, our heritage, our constitution, our monarchy, all these things are things we should be really proud of. And young people need to understand why Britain is such a great country. But I'm afraid the politically correct left, as an example here, downgrades and diminishes everything that's British. You can't fly the flag, you can't sing the national anthem. Who you says can't, that? I don't you think can't Ashley celebrate. said anything. You can't, I think her point, which was an interesting I... one, actually, is that if this is introduced as a distraction from actually what's happening in the schools... Why would it be which... a distraction? Well, it if I could answer the point, there is... There, we, we are... What's it got to do with this? Saying it's not a serious... Why don't we have the MP answer that question? We're, we're trying to sideline it onto other issues. Of course, there are lots of important things that need to be addressed mm -hmm. in education mm -hmm. in our schools, but it doesn't cost a single penny for every school once a week for the children to stand together in a unified spirit to sing the anthem that represents our entire country. It represents everybody, regardless of religion or politics or background. Then why is it we mentioned are, God are, and a head of state are, in the first are, line? Because we have a God and a head of state, oh. whatever the God may be, so that's religion, whatever the God may be, this is a unifying force. When people stand at a football match or a sporting what event is your view? and they okay. sing together, okay. it's a unifying Actually, force. Is that one of your issues with it, that at the heart of it, it does have a Christian God? I just think it's not the catchiest of national anthems. I would much prefer wearing my Rolex. But ultimately, I think that... <laughs> You'd much prefer what? Wearing my Rolex. Is there any part of... Wearing a Banger Rolex? by Wiley. Is song? Could I say, is there any part of so British traditions about the wording that you don't of the want song? to denigrate? Crisp sandwiches. What is Excellent. It, you don't find them What is it you don't cultures? like about our country? That everything I've that's never British... I've said that, and that is putting words in my mouth. British, I want to see a set of serious policy proposals from you for once, Andrew. You don't want to fly the flag. You've said that before. Here's what I don't understand about this, your position. I don't understand what the quality of education in schools has to do with the principle of singing the anthem. They are completely different issues. 
I'm saying address the fact that one in six schools is having to crowdfund from parents for basic Nobody equipment before we get to relatively low priority issues. It's facile. There is People caring yes. about the quality of their kids' education is facile. The, the debate here is not it's about... Out of touch. The debate here is not about education standards in our schools. The it debate, ought to the be. The debate that we're having is about a move in France to have the national anthem sung in schools by every school child, which is what they do in America. And the debate we asked you to come in for is not about our education system, it's about why young children in this country should not be encouraged to sing the national anthem. I would want you, to know would you sing the national pops anthem every six occasion? months and is comes there out with something occasion? mad about the national anthem? Like you to, rather than is there any occasion like you? that you would stand to sing? I would, like, I would like you to simply... Standards. It, what is your position about the monarchy? Are you anti-monarchy? I have no problem with them as private citizens, apart from Princess Michael of Kent, who so maybe doesn't can believe do in the monarchy one. Either. But I don't think that it's a modern institution this is in the a democratic society. problem, if society. I may say. Yeah. This is the problem. We have a politically correct far left in our country that actually doesn't like Britain. I wouldn't call myself they politically want, correct by any stretch of imagination. They want to get rid of all of our traditions, of our heritage. They denigrate it. Is it the case that in France children are going to be made to sing the national anthem for two hours a week? Because is, that seems quite no. a long time. You don't need to, to do that. But once a week, <laughs> once a week, <laughs> once in assembly, assembly that's all what is do. wrong with that? that? Feels like a big I like the fact that time. Gareth Southgate, the New England football manager, makes the team sing the anthem. I had a long chat with Wayne Rooney before he became England captain. Thank he you. never sang the anthem. And eventually I said to him, look, mate, you represent your country. I think you should sing the national anthem. And to his credit, when he became captain, he did start singing the anthem. But if we don't love our own country, if we don't uphold our traditions and respect our history, what, what future do we have? You create a vac you create a vacuum. What future you create a, do we have with stagnant it, wage growth and falling funding for schools? What does where no one believes in anything? anything. What does stagnant wage growth and education standards have to do Nothing. with the debate about the anthem? It has everything to do Nothing with the fact that throughout history we see politicians turning to very cheap nationalism when they are out of ideas to address okay, real cheap. material sorry, I'm in sorry. this country. There is nothing cheap or nationalistic about singing There's the national There's nothing nationalistic anthem. about What's the national anthem. No, you know what it is? It actually makes me feel pride in my country. And by the way, that's, you that's not an ugly thing. It's I don't not think embarrassing it's an ugly thing. to feel proud. Doesn't make I me said a the nationalist. Policy is embarrassing. It makes me somebody okay. proud of my nation. We have, to leave, we have to leave the debate there, but uh, don't blame me for the, using the opportunity to put your political points across. Ash Sarker, thanks very Thank much you. indeed. Andrew Rossendale, Conservative MP for Romney. I do Thank blame you for, for bringing politics into it because it's irrelevant to debate about national anthem. Anyway,